continues and you are really in the presence of greatness here. Next to me is Jack Fresco, um, the uh, main figure of the so-called Zeitgeist movement. He is an industrial designer, a social engineer, um, a futurist, and as you will explain later, basically you want to change everything about how we conduct ourselves as human beings, how we design the world, how we inhabit the world. Um, your formative years were spent during the Great Depression. Yeah. So being in a financial crisis is not new for you. You're right. Yes. So, so maybe you could address, you know, there's a lot of young people out here, you know, wondering what will, you know, the financial crisis mean to me, or well, what will it, how yeah. will it affect my life? Right. What, what would you say to them about that? Well, I'd say that uh, the formative years during the Depression <laughs> made me aware of what was needed to make society work. I'll go into detail as soon as you have seen the presentation of a film, a video, we made for Saudi Arabia. They invited us, Roxanne and myself, to Saudi Arabia to design new cities and uh, a theme park and uh, many other things. And uh, what happened, 9-11, made people so antagonistic to the future possibilities that the Arabs wanted to come out to my place in their Arab uniform. And I live in redneck country, if you know what that is. And they would, the CIA would have been all around the place, and it wouldn't have worked, so I said, you can't come out here. They didn't understand that because the American people in Venus, Florida, you know what redneck country is? Like the Klan, like the Ku Klux Klan. And, and it wouldn't work. And I told them not to come and they never got to see the film. So what the film's about is all that Saudi Arabia was interested in making money. That's what all countries are interested in. Maintaining the cutting edge of finances. And uh, I made this film for them so they think they can make a lot of money. It's just, you get our foot in the door, then we get to Saudi Arabia, we turn them away from the money system. So, we, so. <laughs> so the film you're about to see is what we can do, not what the future will be, but what it can be if enough people want that. If you do nothing, I can assure you nothing will happen. Roxanne and I have no power at all. So if you like the Venus Project, by the way, it's not perfect. It's just a better system for the world. And if you like the Venus Project, talk about it. Show people our films. Look at our website. Learn about it. Don't project into it what you think it is. If you have any questions, don't be polite. Just say, I don't get it. How are you going to deal with this or that? Don't say yes and smile. If you don't like it, say, I don't like it. Just say, this is why I don't like it. Or why it won't work. Mr. So don't be polite, please. Yes, don't be polite. <laughs> Mr. Fresco, uh, the agenda from here is that first we will uh, see your film. Yes. Then you will uh, give a lecture. Yes. Then, uh, if uh, it's possible, we'll do a, a Q&A. Questions. Yes. yes. And uh, please uh, give an applause to uh, Mr. Fresco, uh, a revolutionary of our times yes. and full of brain power. Thank you. I'm going to watch the film first, then we'll talk about it. <laughs> can be is bound to repeat past errors over and over again. This brief video will outline a vision designed to avoid old mistakes. A vision of efficiency, sustainability, and intelligent planning can lead us into a marvelous new world of unlimited human potential. Designing the Future. This 
vision could be a showcase of what the world can be in our cybernated age. Science and technology could be used for human betterment and the restoration and protection of the environment serving as an example of the intelligent application of a systems approach. While some people advocate the restoration of existing worn-out cities, these efforts fall short of the potentials of modern technology. Repairing outmoded cities results in higher costs of operation and maintenance. It is actually less expensive in the long run to build newer cities from the ground up than to restore and maintain old ones. A total city system approach requires overall planning to attain a higher standard of living for all the city's occupants. The circular arrangement efficiently permits the most sophisticated use of available resources and construction techniques with a minimum expenditure of energy. This can make available to all people the most advanced amenities that modern science and technology can provide. It could be the hub and learning center where people from all over the world visit and hopefully emulate this design approach in other parts of the world. Design considerations for these new cities include its overall functioning, its ease of assembly, the reduction of maintenance, efficient transportation, and its simplicity and durability. This will include the flexibility to permit ongoing and later changes. The city would function as an evolving, integrated organism rather than a static structure. This system's approach envisions assembling entire cities by standardizing basic structural elements, which are prefabricated in automated plants and assembled on site. Many of these buildings would be comprised of standard units that can be arranged to meet many different requirements. This approach means that these cities can be extremely cost efficient because only one sector needs to be designed which can be duplicated repeatedly for the completion of an entire city. Our approach makes it possible to sell or license these building methods and designs as totally integrated city systems anywhere in the world. The outer perimeter will be part of the recreational area with golf courses, hiking and biking trails, and opportunities for water sports. Inside this area, a waterway surrounds an agricultural belt with indoor and outdoor agriculture. Continuing toward the city center, eight green sectors provide clean, renewable resources of energy using wind, solar, and heat concentrators. Waste recycling and other services are located beneath the city. The plan utilizes the best of clean technology in harmony with the surrounding environment. The residential district features beautiful landscaping with lakes and winding streams, a wide range of creative, innovative apartment buildings and individual unique homes will provide many options for the occupants. New and innovative methods of fast mass construction for housing and building systems will inject composite materials into a mold and then extrude the form upward. In some cases, multiple city apartments